These are some strange but maybe useful products sold in Japan. So I want to do something a little bit different in this video, so I searched far and wide to find some of the latest Japanese goods that are maybe on the weirder or stranger side that says it's supposed to be useful. Well, maybe useful? You guys can let me know in the comments. Before we begin, I want to give a quick shout out to our sponsor for this video, Zen Market. If you don't already know, Zen Market is a super convenient way to get Japanese products sent directly to your home country. You can select products from major Japanese sites like Yahoo Auctions, Amazon Japan, and Rakuten, or even exclusive Japanese online retailers like Pokemon Center, Premium Bandai, Melon Books, and the list goes on. Better yet, Zen Market charge a low 300 yen flat fee for each item, so you always know the price. Worldwide shipping, native customer support in over 13 languages, and multiple payment options such as credit card, PayPal, crypto, transferize, make it all too easy to get Japanese made goodies. So go to Zen Market today by using my link in the description to get Japanese products delivered directly to your home. New users get 300 yen free just by signing up. Oh, and if you're interested in any of the products in today's video, then click on my Zen Market link because all of the products will be listed on that page. That all said, Maiko bring on the first product. The Stress Reduction Voice Training Exer by Needs Labo. So here we go. I am super excited to try this bad boy. This is a stress relieving voice exerciser. Definitely a Japanese product. I don't even know if they make this in any other country, but it just makes sense to have it in Japan because people love to sing, they love to yell. Well, I don't know if they love to yell, but it's nice to be able to do that in the home and not bother other people. I feel like it's been around. I think it's been around. We saw it in the store and definitely had to pick it up and show you guys. I mean, just looking at the box itself, like right here, it says that it's supposed to reduce the sound by 82%. And one song is supposed to burn 7.59 calories. I would have to sing for like 10 hours <laughs> in order to like burn one ice cream. It's funny how they sell this as like kind of like an exercise thing. Like, hey guys, let's stop playing basketball and let's sing. And then just right here around the stem, it says, your health and beauty are supported by voice exercise. So the way it works is that you get this little guy you're supposed to speak into here catches your voice. This right here is kind of like a rubbery material. And then it comes with this here and this attaches to right here, I believe. So basically the idea is if you're going to sing, you yell into this and then you put this as an earpiece. Look at this. It says stress reduction voice the official product name is Stressu Kaisho Voice Tore Exo. I guess it's a short exercise. First of all, let's just test this out. This is my voice. This is my voice. This is me talking. This is me talking. Is it quieter? Yeah. Can you scream? Yeah! Like that? No, you want me to Oh, you want to use this? <laughs> My God, can you make me some fried chicken? Yeah, I can hear you, but it's not that loud. Okay, let's see if I put this little earpiece on. Hello. I guess you can hear yourself better with like this earpiece. Can you sing something like Easy or Eminem? Or something? <laughs> I can't even sing normally. <laughs> okay, let's try to sing then. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Can you sing one like? I wonder what you are. It, it's it's working pretty well. Yeah, yeah. The stainless steel cutter butter case by Skater. This next one caught our eye. I think it's been around for a little bit and I think it's been reproduced all over the world, but I think maybe it was originally from Japan. So look at this. This is the butter cutter case. It is made from a brand called Skater. Skater.co.jp. That's kind of a cool name that they got. Well, it's a cool name, but it just isn't a line. Maybe with a butter cutter case. Bottom here does say Nihonsei, meaning made in Japan. It's interesting too, the packaging. It's almost kind of like ripped off from the butter case. Now this butter that you got is unsalted and from Hokkaido. So I can use Oh, but this one, in fact, is what Maiko really wanted for herself. I think she saw it on Instagram and she's like, oh, we have to have it. It comes with this like nifty plastic top, even a butter knife, and it comes with a case and the bottom tray. So we're going to try this live. I feel like we should be streaming this one because I feel like I'm going to mess this up. So the idea is to take the butter case. It's really blown out. I guess I can be super dark. No worries. This is Paulo's true color. This is how dark I really am. My true color. 
Let me open this up and put it on the tray. Butter is not refrigerated. So it's a kind of like room temperature. Let me get you a wipe. Because I'm going to use a whole thing. <laughs> you don't trust my hands are clean? Nope. <laughs> what do you think I do all day? You, you don't know. Maybe this butter is dirty. Butter getting on top. Ready? And butter has been placed on the tray. Like so. Oh, look at that butter. Okay, ready? Yeah. And go. And there you go. Wow, it worked. It really worked. Amazing sliced butter. Okay, so um, I really, really wanted this. It's not just a cutter, but it's like a storage for butter. So you can just like put it in the fridge. Yeah. And I want this because <laughs> my butter. Yeah, I always use it like they just like peel it and then it's so messy. I'm so happy I was looking for this. Okay. So I will put this in the fridge. Oh my god, this says butter cutter case. Butter cutter case. <laughs> butter cutter case. They forgot the space. The breath upper by pro idea. So this next one is breast upper. It's breath, like breath, right? Anyway, so this one, it looks like a health product. It's kind of hard to tell. Like the biggest thing on this package is this female. I feel like they're selling her top or, and then just like a tiny little thing right here that they're selling. But then this girl is in front and then you have like this fire on her stomach. It's like, <laughs> it's like are you trying to warm her stomach? Anyways, just taking this thing, you put it all together. You get this guy. It looks like a fun little pipe. I guess you're supposed to blow it and you get like a workout. How many times do you think I can do this? Do you even know how to use it? If it's exercise, you have to keep it between two and three. Oh. And then if it's voice training. Voice uh... training. You're saying voice. Are you I training boys? I started with Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> voice training. Yeah. You have to go like up and down three times. All right. So first of all, let's try to see if I can get between two and three. Okay. Ready? <laughs> it didn't even go up. Oh, oh wow. Oh. It takes a lot of oxygen to do that, of breath. Nope. <laughs> That's hard. Do you have to take like a really deep breath? Can I try? Look at that. Okay, you can try. <laughs> I'm better than you. Okay, one last try. I think the goal is to go hard initially, so you get it up and then you yeah, let it yeah, down. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's hard to like, get it up. Yeah. Slowly. It is. Well, technically, I didn't Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can't breathe. Hold on, we're going for a world record right now. Oh! So do it! There we go. The Shipu Harihi Toride Petanko by Asahi Kase. Smile Kids. So this next guy is supposed to make life a whole lot easier because it always has your back. Mm, that's that. I'm a dad. What can I say? Even dads don't even know. Hey, if you guys like that joke, let me know. Okay, so this one is supposed to help you put on the back pads. What do you call them? Shippu? Oh, I don't know. I forgot what it's called in English. Medicated pads. Compress. You, compress, maybe. Yeah, I think there's like another. Basically, if you ever need to like stick one of these pads on your back, and you just like can't reach all the way down, then basically this guy is supposed to help you out. So what you do is you take the pad that's half this is already peeled halfway. And what you do is you place the shipu. We're just gonna call it shipu because I can't remember the name. And then it has kind of like a Velcro layer. And what you do is you just snap it on like that and it holds in place. And because of the Velcro, it doesn't stick to it. And then what you can do is now you have the pad here. You can also take this piece off. So just rip it off. Now you have the sticky side on both and then you take your shirt off so let's just say i need to put it on right here <laughs> there you go oh, nice. now if i were just to use my hand and do it myself it'd be like <laughs> 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 It'd be like that. So I think it is helpful. If you really want to do, you can go like super deep. How many times will you use this? I don't know. But 
It is useful. You can reach your whole entire back. Let me see. Okay, pretend like, no, no, just put it on. Okay, I want you to put it here. You don't have to take off your shirt. Wait, don't do that kind of service. <laughs> Did you want center or side? Right here. Oh, damn. Did I get it? Yeah, well, you got it. Oh. On so I guess if you're flexible, then you're good. Perfect, look. Oh, wow. See, it does. job. Not the worst product, not the best product, but it works. The Futaga Tong Ni Naru Hozon Yoki by Asahi Kase. So this next one takes Tupperware to the whole new level. It looks like your regular Tupperware, plastic and all, but if you look at the lid, it has a special little device. It comes with its own tongs. So if you ever have, you know, some stuff and looking for a fork or some chopsticks to get your stuff out, then you don't need it. You can just use this. Just imagine, Michael, you're in this situation. You just came back from a long workout. Say perhaps you were using press up <laughs> and you go to the fridge and you're like, I am so hungry. And you notice that, <gasps> I have some okra. I don't want to eat okra after workout. And you're like, oh man, I want to eat it right away, but I need a fork. And it's like, boom, I can go straight into it and I don't even have to get my hands dirty. Let's see how it picks up. And ba bam, three pieces all at once. That's how I like to do it. Look how easy that is. And it's pretty like grippy. You just like, look at that. Is it easy to grab? Yeah, it's so easy. And I think what's pretty nice too is that these things come off and if you need to wash it or anything like that, boom, easy peasy. And then once you're done eating, all you have to do is just put it away and you're done. I don't know, personally, I think this one is super useful. The Ten no Hira Cabbage Peeler by Kai. So this next guy is something that Maiko really thought was interesting. No, I didn't say that. Who chose this one? I thought- you. So this one I really thought was- <laughs> Really? The thing is there's so many different kind of like slicers and dicers at the store. We had to like narrow it down and I thought one was cool. Michael thought this one was cooler. This is a uh, Te no Hida Sen Giri. You can see there's a cabbage in the back, but oh, what is that? Thanks, Michael, <laughs> for the cabbage. And basically you have this tool. It almost looks like a sort of like a, a breastplate. Be careful, it's a blade. Oh, is it? You have scissors? <laughs> Why did you give me this? <laughs> I'll use my teeth. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> we have lettuce going everywhere. Oh, I think I just got some <laughs> lettuce. <laughs> So, okay, there you go. I mean, just it went all over the place. That's what you get. You get some shredded lettuce. Would you use it? I feel like if you cut the lettuce, not lettuce, the cabbage into maybe half or something. Oh yeah, I keep on saying lettuce, but it's probably cabbage. <laughs> oh, it clearly say, Oh, really? So we should have used a harder cabbage. Fair warning, so there you go. If you want something just a little bit easier, use a harder cabbage. The Salad Oroshi by Nonoji. Let's move on to the next one. This one is gonna be hopefully a little less messier. It should be because it has its own lid. So this is another shredder that we had a look at. This thing works for like carrots and- Cucumbers. Cu ah, cucumbers, yeah. Zucchini. Yeah, so all of those. Oh yeah, you can switch the sides. So it's, you can choose whether or not you want a smaller or a larger hole. And you can just switch just like this. But let's try this out. We've got a carrot today. I'm gonna shut the lid right there, just like so. Sorry. Oh, maybe I need to do it like smooth motions. I don't know, I'm gonna try to smile while, while I do it. <laughs> I have like a stressed out face. I was wondering why you're smiling. Because I wanted to like, you know, you be happy. Smile? Yeah. You should smile. Yeah. <laughs> so if I had it facing this way, I think we're good. But look at that. Oh, nice. Look, it's all encased in this plastic. Yeah, you just made a carrot as a salad bar. You can't work at the buffet. Yes, I don't use any other tools aside from this. But it's <laughs> super useful, right? We can make, oh, we can make a coleslaw. And then we have Cabbage. Cabbage. <laughs> the Ceramic Toast Steamer by Marna. Okay, Maiko World, this next one is a steamy one. The Bread Steamer. So the concept behind this bad boy is you soak it in some water for about 20 seconds and then you put it between your bread while you're toasting it and it's supposed to give you kind of like that nice, toasty, moist bread. You know, sometimes you get the bread and it's just like super, super dry. It's a little bit different if you have that little like nice, 
kind of moisture and crunchiness at the same time. Oh, wow, it's getting hot in here. Or should I dare to say steamy? It says back here, 91.5%. It's supposed to like increase the moisture level. Basically, when you toast the bread, a lot of the moisture leaves the bread and so it weighs less. Yeah. So this one, I guess you, you kind of infuse some moisture inside of the bread while you're cooking at the same time. Okay, so you have this ceramic bread looking loaf and it is hollow in the bottom. And what you do is you soak it in some water and luckily, we have some water. Let me just drop it in. Oh, it is deep. Oh. Submerged. I'll hold this for 20 seconds. <laughs> we will fast forward now. Okay, there you go. And this is also a workout for me. And when you are ready to go, you take it out and cook it up. So here we go, after a few minutes of YouTube magic, here are the pieces of bread. Can you guys tell which one has been toasted with a ceramic? So this one here on the left is the one without the ceramic steamer and this one is the one with the ceramic steamer. And you can see that this one got toasted a little bit less, this one a little bit more. And I think that's just because the toaster was already hot, right? It wasn't like they made it any hotter. But in terms of weight, <laughs> I can't really tell the difference. Okay, <laughs> so, I don't think we can tell. The you taste test? Yeah. Can you like rip the crust off for me? So I just like get like the middle piece. Basically, it should taste better, right? <laughs> you, you gotta tell me you're gonna just like start sticking food in my mouth. First test. Okay. This is the second one? Yeah. Hmm. The second one that you gave me is a lot more doughier. It has a little bit more moisture, so I think it's the second one. <laughs> really? That's the first one. Yeah, I thought because it's like more doughy, that was the one that mm -hmm. was steamed. But if you just go by the taste, then yeah, the one that uses ceramic toaster is like tastes a lot better. So, in fact, it did work. There you go by the ceramic toaster. Oh, look at this guy. All right, so if you all like this video, help us out and hit that like button. And if you guys like this video or anything else- No, no, no. Yeah. No, no, no. And if you guys no, like no, it- No, no, no. No, 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 no. Should we just close it there? No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Da, yeah. Da, 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 da. yeah, that's me. <gasps> Would you notice something? Oh, you wanna try? Have some, have some of the bread. <laughs> How is it? So we're gonna close it right here. If you guys wanna see more of these type of videos or anything related to Japan, hit that subscribe button and the bell button, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.